Hello and welcome to 1000 Verses Bible Quiz Channel. Today we have carefully chosen and organized 15 challenging questions to test how well you know the Bible. Before you start the quiz, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our next episode. Give your comment about the quiz and how you've scored in the comment section below. Are you ready? Let's get started. Question 1. Which Israelite king was in captivity in Babylon in the book of Ezekiel? King David King Saul King Jehoiachin King Solomon The answer is King Jehoiachin Ezekiel Chapter 1, verse 2. On the fifth of the month, it was the fifth year of the exile of King Jehoiachin, the word of the Lord came to Ezekiel the priest, the son of Buzi, by the Kibar River, in the land of the Babylonians. Question 2. What was different about Ehud? He was missing a leg. He was left-handed. He was very tall. He had no wife. The answer is, he was left-handed. Judges chapter 3, verse 15. Again, the Israelites cried out to the Lord, and he gave them a deliverer, Ehud a left-handed man, the son of Gera the Benjamite. The Israelites sent him with tribute to Eglon king of Moab. Question 3. Who worked to divide up the land between the twelve tribes of Israel? Eleazar the priest, Joshua, and leaders of each tribe. God told Joshua, the Levite priests, the people voted. The answer is Eleazar the priest, Joshua, and leaders of each tribe. Joshua, chapter 19, verse 51. These are the territories that Eleazar the priest, Joshua son of Nun, and the heads of the tribal clans of Israel, assigned by Lot at Shiloh, in the presence of the Lord, at the entrance to the tent of meeting. And so they finished dividing the land. Question 4. Hagar was a handmaid to which woman? Sarah. Esther. Ruth, Lot's wife. The answer is Sarah. Genesis chapter 16, verse 1. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, had borne him no children, but she had an Egyptian slave named Hagar. Question 5. Which man was not a king during the time of Hosea? Jehosh? Uzziah? Jotham? Ahaz? The answer is Jehosh. Hosea. Chapter 1, verse 1. The word of the Lord that came to Hosea, son of Beeri, during the reigns of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, and during the reign of Jeroboam, son of Jehosh, king of Israel. Question 6. What was the occupation of Rahab? Landowner. Prostitute. Slave, tent maker.
The answer is prostitute. Joshua chapter 2, verse 1. Then Joshua son of Nun secretly sent two spies from Shittim. Go, look over the land, he said, especially Jericho. So they went and entered the house of a prostitute named Rahab and stayed there. Question 7. What did Balaam's donkey see in the road that caused him to leave the road in fear? The angel of the Lord. A lion. Israelite soldiers. A bear. The answer is the angel of the Lord. Numbers chapter 22 verse 23. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road with a drawn sword in his hand, it turned off the road into a field. Balaam beat it to get it back on the road. Question 8. What did the Israelites do while Moses was on the mountain receiving the Ten Commandments? They made an idol, a golden calf. They were praying and fasting. They were worshipping many false gods. They decided to leave and return to Egypt. The answer is, they made and idol a golden calf. Deuteronomy chapter 9 verse 16 When I looked, I saw that you had sinned against the Lord your God. You had made for yourselves an idol cast in the shape of a calf. You had turned aside quickly from the way that the Lord had commanded you. Question 9 Chapter 6, in the book of Zechariah, describes the symbolic crowning of which king? David, Jesse, Joshua, Jacob. The answer is Joshua. Zechariah chapter 6, verses 9 to 14. Go the same day to the house of Josiah son of Zephaniah. Take the silver and gold and make a crown and set it on the head of the high priest, Joshua son of Josadak. Question 10. Who did the Israelites want to make king after he delivered them from the Midianites? Saul, Ezra, Jonah, Gideon. The answer is Gideon. Judges chapter 8, verse 22. The Israelites said to Gideon, Rule over us, you, your son, and your grandson, because you have saved us from the hand of Midian. Question 11. What reward did King Nebuchadnezzar give to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego after they survived the fiery furnace? They were sent back to Jerusalem. He promoted them in the province of Babylon. They were granted their freedom. They were made princes. The answer is, He promoted them in the province of Babylon. Daniel chapter 3, verse 30. Therefore I decree that the people of any nation or language who say anything against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be cut into pieces, and their houses be turned into piles of rubble, for no other god can save in this way. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, 
and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Question 12. How was King Zedekiah punished by the king of Babylon for his rebellion? He fell off his horse and broke his neck. He committed suicide. He was killed in front of his sons. His eyes were put out, and he became a prisoner. The answer is, his eyes were put out, and he became a prisoner. Jeremiah, chapter 52, verse 11. There at Riblah, the king of Babylon killed the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes. He also killed all the officials of Judah. Then he put out Zedekiah's eyes, bound him with bronze shackles, and took him to Babylon, where he put him in prison till the day of his death. Question 13. Once he was king, who sent cedar trees and carpenters and masons to build David a house? The Queen of Sheba, Hiram King of Tyre, Hadadezer King of Zobah, the elders of the tribe of Benjamin. The answer is Hiram king of Tyre. 2 Samuel chapter 5, verse 11. Hiram king of Tyre sent envoys to David, along with cedar logs and carpenters and stonemasons, and they built a palace for David. Question 14. Who was Zerubbabel? A king. A warrior a governor, a high priest. The answer is a governor. Haggai chapter 1 verse 1. In the second year of King Darius, on the first day of the sixth month, the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai to Zerubbabel son of Sheltiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua son of Josadak, the high priest. Question 15. How were the Israelites saved from the snakes God sent in judgment to bite them? Moses interceded in prayer. Aaron offered a sacrifice. The people fell on their faces and prayed. Moses made a snake, and the people looked at it. The answer is, Moses made a snake, and the people looked at it. Numbers, chapter 21, verses 8 to 9. The Lord said to Moses, Make a snake and put it up on a pole. Anyone who is bitten can look at it and live. So Moses made a bronze snake and put it up on a pole. Then when anyone was bitten by a snake and looked at the bronze snake, they lived. Congratulations, you did it. You completed our Bible quiz. If you enjoyed the This Bible Quiz, give it thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to share what you've learned about God's Word with family and friends.